We were at the local thrift store. First bag I found. It looks to be a He-Man in there. And I got one more bag down here. We're gonna go search through the rest and see what we can find. Welcome guys to Next Level Toys and Happy New Year to everybody. This is 2023, our first video of the year. We wanted to do these about a week ago when we came across them right after Christmas. But we're getting to them now due to holidays and a couple other little things. But we, we have overcome them and here we are. So we went to the thrift store right after Christmas because people donate their toys. We're going to start off with this bag. We have several bags. I gave $2.99 for these two cars. Because uh, they are awesome from the looks of it anyway. This is a Majesto 124 scale. This is all, all metal except for the bottom here. This is a Lamborghini. Very nice detail. I'm not going to waste too much time on these because we have a lot of bags to go through. But what do y'all think about that? That's about a dollar and a half a car. But this is why I bought it because I thought I saw Hot Wheels on this and it is. This is the Speed Racer Hot Wheel car, Mach 5. It has the rubber tires and the uh, open closing cockpit from what we just seen here. It is a really cool looking car. If y'all know much about it, please hit me up. I've never really seen this particular car before. Okay, let's just put those over here. As y'all know in a thumbnail, this is mainly going to be action figures, but there is some cars possibly in here. We gave $2.99 for this. And we're going to rush through as much as I can because there's just so much here. First off, there is a G.I. Joe in here. We just did a recent video of G.I. Joe figures. Uh, can't tell if that's an older one. Uh, 1996 he is vintage he's kind of jacked up but we can fix him I'm sure and we got some pants to go with him got the gun this is for 14 and over in case y'all was wondering not really intended for kids but if you're a kid I can't stop you well check this out there's a King Kong handheld game in here 2003 these are getting to be collectible sadly it's missing the back there but I will keep it. Maybe we can find the back one day. Got a gun and a Kong there. There's a Thomas the Train. There is a Bigfoot, Ben. Uh, this, sorry, Ben, this is not a Bigfoot. It's just a big tractor. <laughs> Those wheels fooled me. That is pretty cool, though. We got some binoculars. And... Just like home, I have no idea what this is. I really don't know. If y'all know, please hit me up. I don't know. I thought it was a toy uh, walkie-talkie. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to another bag. Two seventy-nine. We will start going here more often too. They told me that they had many more to put out. And we went the next day and someone had beat me to them. Where everybody's just getting rid of their toys. So, uh, and wherever we don't want, we will redonate to other places. So we don't re buy them. Looks like an Iron Man 12 inch. We are going to keep these from now on. Uh, I sold about 25 of them last year in a yard sale. I kind of regret doing it now because I sold them each for a dollar a piece. I don't even know why I did that. I think it was just to make room. And here we are getting more. There's another big dude. There's a Halloween and Happy Meal toys here. We're not wasting much time on those. That looks like a piece of a hobble track, possibly. This is why he bought it. Oh, he's missing an arm, y'all, or a leg. He's missing a leg. But this is why we bought these bags, because there's vintage figures in here. 
I'm not even sure who this is, but it says 1983 Filmation Association. Is he from He-Man? Please let me know. I don't know about that other leg. But other than that, he's in good shape. Uh, have no toy. What is this? Is this his eagle? Uh, let me see here. Taiwan Mattel. Sorry, my eyes are getting bad over the years here. 1972. Mattel Incorporated. Guys, what is this? This could be worth more than a figure. It's a gigantic rubber eagle with a plastic body. That's why we do this. So people donate whatever these days, especially if they don't know what it is. Have no toy. I'm gonna keep that pretty bird right there. Here's another bag. I'm not even counting them because it's a lot. I think we still got six more. This was $2.99. Uh, my friend Jason will get the dinosaurs. His daughter loves them, so uh, look at this. There's all kinds of dinosaurs. That's not right where we bought it. However, the added bonus, there's all kinds of them in here, actually. More than I thought. Plastic non-moving figure. These have no toys and stuff. We're just going to ship through. Now, is this G.I. Joe? Nope. Is this a knockoff little toy car? Here is a Hot Wheels back rig here. You can put a car on top. We have some of the rigs that easily go with it. Here's why we bought this one. Is he dog here there? No, he's missing a thumb. This is a Corp figures, a core figure actually. Back when G.I. Joe was around too, this was kind of like the knockoff. Uh, we have a few of these, but uh, not many. Sadly, he's missing a thumb, but other than that, he's in good shape. When I find these bags, I don't thoroughly look through them. Uh, I literally just glance through them. So I don't ruin the mystery and surprise myself. Have no toy, a minion, shovel. Uh, that's the main reason I bought this bag. There's a Lego piece, a big slithering snake, octopus, and ooh, a spider. Okay, that's all in that bag. No worries, guys. We have a lot more to go. Uh, this one I'm holding anxious for uh, $2.99. Also, this one is the one that looks like it has a He Man. And yes, Ben, here is a Bigfoot. I don't know who it is. Maybe you do, because you do know a lot of stuff about these things. Check this out. Looks like a big rhinoceros. Has no brand name. It's one of them uh, fix, friction ones. Pretty neat. Now let's get to He-Man. Is this He-Man? This is not He-Man. What? Who is this? I mean, I'm excited more oh, now because, you know, He-Man's fairly common. This one is 1981 Mattel, Hong Kong. He could be part of the He-Man collection. I grew up with He-Man, but I don't remember this particular villain. He's got like a lobster claw. That is awesome, yo. And he is actually intact. There's nothing broken off of him. Beautiful. Totally worth it. Oh, uh, and that is He-Man. I actually have one of these. This is an 80s, just a rubber He-Man. Yeah, 1985, 1984. Beautiful. I didn't know that was in there. Then we got another... That looks like from our robot, that evil robot with Will Smith. I don't think it is, but man, oh man, there's some big figures in here. Is that? Um, is it? That ain't, they ain't the Hawk, is it? Oh, jeez. No, well, there's so many new characters out there. I don't know half of them. Okay. Now here is yet another bag. This one was $2.99 also. Now, this actually looks like He-Man. <gasps> Guys, 
I have a lot of action figures, but I do not have the original He-Man. We do now. Look at this. It is him. Oh my gosh. I was afraid they might have been like reproductions. You can tell for sure this is 1981. It's the same year as that other monster here, so uh, they're built the same and everything. I'm going to say that they're definitely in the same class of He-Man. That is awesome. Someone donated their old toy collection. Uh, or their kid has donated their parents' uh, toy collection. I don't know. Oh, we're going to get... Well, there's a... Yeah, there's a him. But I didn't even see this in here. I'm blind. It is his tiger that he rides. I got one too. Mine has the saddle. This one don't have the saddle. But oh my gosh, this thing's full of stuff. There's a rabbit, squirrel. Uh, this is old, folks. Chipper. 1999, never mind. It looks old. The tag is yellow. But there is another couple characters in here. Wow. Check this out. That's definitely looks like be He Man. And there's even another awesome dude in here. I can't remember if he has something to go with his gun for his arm. Please let me know what y'all think about this cool find. I mean, this was three dollars for all of this right here, and this definitely looks like He Man too. Yes, this is the chair that goes one of the playsets, 1981. I think it goes to the castle, the castle of Grayskull. Wow, a vintage half a mil toy and a couple of other half mil toys. Wow. Here is yet another bag. I can't believe all these awesome finds. Two seventy nine dollars for this bag. And yet I know there's another He-Man possibility in here. We got a big water gun that would have to be donated. Oh, look guys, there's a Hot Wheel car. Oh, this is Mario. And this is Matchbox actually. This is a Mario themed matchbox. That is a definite cool find. My son's really heavy into Mario now. He even got the Nintendo Cube for his birthday. He's 11 right now currently. There's a Hot Wheel car. It's rated for 18 over and he put it together in two and a half days. 2,064 pieces. I doubt I could do that. I really doubt it. There's another gigantic 12 inch figure. These are newer, so I'm not really much into them, but they are cool. There's a gigantic. What is that, a puppet? Big dinosaur puppet head? <laughs> I'm running out of room. Here is that cool character. Yes, this is definitely He Man all the way. I remember him, 1982. I can't believe it. Yeah, another character I don't have. I don't have any of these guys. I do have a He-Man, but he's missing an arm. This one's actually intact. And, uh, wow, I can't believe it. And there looks to be some legs. I saw a torso. Yes. Now, I have no idea who the heck this is. Is this a He-Man figure? I mean, it's just built like one. Do y'all know? It does smell vintage, so it could possibly be. There was just so many characters, and sorry for the sniffing. That's just how I can get a quick visual. Oh, God. Ew, the rubber sticky thingy. This appears to be a sword. If that's from He-Man, uh, this could be worth a pretty good bit, too. But we don't sell none of this stuff. I collect the stuff that I love to keep. I don't sell any of it, so please don't mess with me about buying it. Because, uh, you know, I'm just a hoarder. Here is another bag. I'm not even looking at the price on this because I'm just excited here. I'm like a big kid at heart. This was a dollar nine nine. They price these this randomly sometimes. This looks like Iron Man. It is not. Is it? That's a Power Ranger, I believe. Maybe. My 
good buddy Ben would know. Looks definitely like a Power Ranger. There's a big fireman in here. He's newer. Probably keep him just because he's a figure. Plastic dinosaur. What did I buy this bag for? Uh, I really don't know because uh, there's not much in this bag. I may have accidentally goofed and bought a bag that I did not need. Uh, there's just nothing in here I would have normally went after. Yeah, okay. We have one more bag to go here. And uh, let's see here. This was $2.99 also. This is four guns. Nerf guns. Oh boy, there's a bunch of Nerf guns. Uh, well, I got Nerf bullets. We'll test them and see. There is. This is why we bought it. I was hoping this is a G.I. Joe, but he's made like one. And someone put a dollar price tag, so someone had a yard sale and couldn't sell him. If I'd have found him in a yard sale, I'd have gave a dollar, because I like these older type of figures. He's definitely vintage. Then we got this guy. Um, uh, he has a website on the back of him, so he's definitely not old. Got a hammer in his hand. There is a Monopoly McDonald toy with a 50 cent tag. Some more Nerf stuff. So nothing much in that particular bag either. Uh, that is all of them. Please let us know what you think of this amazing vintage figure haul. Something we love to do. Sadly there's no cars, but we are keeping an eye out for cars. And again, Ben, I appreciate you recommending lives. I had always been planning, if I find a big box of cars at a yard sale or a thrift store or something, I will bring them here and I will unveil the findings on a live stream. It's just hard to live stream in this area where we live in mountains. There's just so many dead spots, but we'll at least do that. In fact, I might even do a live stream with the next toy haul we find at the thrift store. If you're up for that, let us know. And we can definitely arrange that since the store is literally three miles, four miles down the road from here. Till then, thank you for watching Next Level Toys, and we will see y'all next time. Goodbye.